No, you can't make me. Come on, oh, oh. get on with it. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Chris. And today we're talking about user journeys. User journeys and planning your website. Yes. So what is a user journey? It's handily written here. Read it out, Chris. <laughs> it's the journey each user takes when they visit your site. Yes, so um, uh, we like to use um, user journeys to determine uh, who will be interacting with your, um, your website or any other digital piece of media you might have. Where do they start? What are their aims and objectives and what do they get to? So why, why bother? Chris, read this one out. <laughs> well, you're more likely to get the site you want, aren't you? True. We've found that um, the sites that work best, that convert the best, are those where um, everybody spent some time looking at those user journeys, um, as opposed to maybe just turning up with a, a predefined sitemap of, of how they think things should be in their head. So um, we are, a, I mean, you can have the sitemap, but we're a big advocate of justifying that sitemap through user journeys. And it's gonna save you time and money? Again, in, in our experience, um, Doing those user journeys and then building that into um, a user experience, showing how those user journeys work before anybody's done any um, difficult coding or anything is a great opportunity to go through that kind of journey together and make sure that it's right from the outset. So you can, you can uh, get everything right at the start rather than getting a website built and then trying to adapt it down the line to fill all these use cases that start appearing. So if you've thought about a particular user, then you're gonna make them happy because you're gonna be um, uh, reacting to their needs. Exactly, so if you understand those user journeys really well, um, and then you can test your final website against those user journeys, you're almost role playing uh, your customers and you'll get to understand how happy they're gonna be with uh, the service you're offering. All right, I'm sold on user journeys, so <laughs> how do we do it? Okay, it's not that difficult. People kind of get a bit scared by them, but they're pretty simple things, really. You can put them in a spreadsheet, a, a, um, a document, however you want to really do it. So we just start with a list of all the different users. How can that look then? Okay, well, you could do a sheet per user. That's often way. It depends how complex your site build is going to be as well. So, uh, you know, it might be something that's really small and you're just looking at... Um, uh, you know, a brochure site where you're selling something very simple and that's your primary concern. You may have an e-commerce store, uh, so uh, you might want to then look at the different types of um, users and go through their journeys through that store, so a purchaser, an admin, uh, all those sort of things. Okay, so then you put them in the order of priority. Yeah, so when you think about those different types of user for an e-commerce store, um, who do you care the most about and what are you uh, trying to get them to do? What's, what's their end goal? So if web designers understand um, who is the most important user to look after and what their most important use case is, it can help them determine their visual hierarchy for that design. So for instance, if you are selling something online, but actually really the, the most important thing that you do with your users engage, is engage with them through, um, through your email marketing, for instance. Perhaps we want a much more prevalent subscription thing uh, on the site there and we push that subscription service to their newsletter everywhere we can because you've told us that's the most important thing for you and your customers, that would, be, that would steer the design. Right, so you've defined each user's objective yeah. Uh, so then you need to list all the features to achieve that objective. Yeah. So breaking down, um, that's something that we, we could work on together or your technical team could work on. So, you know, if, again, if you go to e-commerce, there's going to be a certain amount of features you need to put in the website to achieve that objective. If you're buying something, you need a shopping basket, you need tax rules, you need um, all of the different elements of uh, an e-commerce system that would then fulfill that service. If they can't get through the checkout, if they can't pay for anything, then you've failed that user journey. Yeah, that's good. And finally, you need to give all that to your web developer so we can start building something. Exactly. Uh, working with a web developer, once you've got or understood those user journeys, that's when they can then help get that sitemap right as well. And there's lots of other things that you should really look at before you start doing your sitemap, including SEO. So what we've looked at here is, is these user journeys and how you would uh, plan your website. 
there's maybe a whole other story to tell as well, which is looking at these user journeys and how you get them to your website and focus on them through online marketing. So there's, there's a nice uh, com complex world you can build from uh, understanding your audience and your user journeys. Mm. That is highly useful. That wasn't very funny though, was it? I kind of feel like we need to do some pat cake to give the okay, audience something to look at. Well, uh, I, don't know what, I don't, don't know what to say on this bit. There's no more questions. Pat a cake, pat a cake. No. no. Is, there a thing, is there a link to download something? Maybe. Have a look below. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh, thank goodness for that. Great. Thanks, everyone. Right. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I'll just walk off. Oh, yeah, fine.